Here with UWL men's basketball coach Kent Dernbach after UWL's 81-70 home victory over Central College on Saturday afternoon in Mitchell Hall. Coach, let's first talk about the game. Uh, first home game, so it's uh, always nice to play that first home game, including for yourself here at UWL. Just talk about that at first. Well, like I told the guys, we need to start building something special at home. Um, where our scrimmage was on the road, our exhibition game was on the road, and our first contest was on the road. And um, you know, finally we were able to get back home. And I, I, I just challenge them, you know, to have your parents, have your fans, to have other people in the community um, recognize, you know, just how hard and how good we potentially can be this year. And you know, for stretches, um, you know, I thought we did that tonight, Dave. We certainly did not play a sound and. Um, 40 minutes of basketball or we're not even close to the level that I want us to be at but we were really really good in stretches and because of that we were able to have a little cushion into halftime and and we did just enough in the second half to uh, you know to really kind of weather a little bit of storm and, and some awkward moments that we had on, on offense. Yeah the game was uh, tied four times in the first half six lead change in the second half and you made a big run there to, to uh, end of the half on a 17 to 6 run so you led uh, at the halftime uh, over the uh, Dutch 45 to 34. Mm -hmm. uh, they did make a run at you, like you said, uh, in the second half, but they could get no, no closer than six points in that second half. Just talk about how your team, you know, kind of did take that storm from them and then held them off. Yeah, you know, unfortunately, that's the second straight game that we've turned the ball over um, with much more regularity in the second half than the first half. Uh, Luther on the road, we had five, and I think, think we finished with 15, so 10 in the second half. And in this game, you know, we just had four going into the locker room and then finish with 13. And a little bit that that has to do with wind conditioning, just uh, not being sound and being careless with the basketball. And you know that showed up tonight. And um, it's something that we're certainly gonna have to, to clean up if uh, with this week coming up, the ter for Turbo and, and, and two other home games against um, nationally ranked teams and teams mm -hmm. that are gonna make the NCAA tournament. And uh, we're gonna have to be playing much better and be much more sound in the second half, Dave. You did uh, force uh, Central to 22 turnovers, yeah. shot clock violation as well. You only had 13 turnovers yourself, and you had 13 steals. Just talk about your defensive effort today. Yeah, um, fortunately, we've been able to turn teams over. Um, Milwaukee, we turned over 17 times, and um, Luther um, was uh, above 20, and then you know Central was a pretty high number, I believe, as, as well. I can't remember. I know they had 13 in the first half. It was a 20 plus, 22, yeah. 22 um, overall. And now, and that doesn't mean we're extending our pressure. We're not playing full court pressure D, but we are fighting the ball. Um, I think uh, we're, not, we're, we're unpleased. At least we're fighting the basketball and and keeping guys from going where they want to go, um, where we can disrupt the other team's rhythm. But we're going to have to stop guys from. Uh, we have to force guys and force teams to miss. You know, they shot over 50 percent, I think, in the first half. You know, the same thing happened at Milwaukee, and then Luther, you know, was um, uh, you know above 40 percent. And if we're a team that uh, that we want to be, like the, our 18 guys talk about and our staff talks about, we have to be one of the best defensive teams in our league. And um, we're taking steps towards that, but we certainly have a long ways to go. You played 10 players in the game, they all scored. So just talking about the balance score, and Ben Meinhold's at 18. Yeah. Nolan Wright, 14, that's a career high. Uh, Talvish McCray had a career high with 12 points. He also had three assists and four rebounds. Uh, Tanner Brooks, uh, five points, but nine rebounds for yeah. you to lead that. So just a balance all the way across. Yeah, and, and like I told the guys in the locker room, I don't think anybody has played their best game yet. And that's exciting. And we need to, how many guys can we get to play above the bar, to play above their average? And, you know, right now, I, I think we're maybe getting like maybe three guys to, to do that. Um, but we need to get all five guys to consistently be average or above average. Um, and when we do that, we, we'll see just how special this team can be. Uh, just talk, let's look ahead. Uh, it's a quick turnaround for you to Viterbo yeah. on Monday. St. John's here on Wednesday. Just talk about the quick turnaround that you have here. Well, Viterbo's playing really good basketball. They've won six in a row, and they, um, you know there's certainly going to be a lot of intensity you know, to that game, and, um, and our guys are excited for it. We just have one day of prep here um, you know, before, before that contest and you know, heading over there. And we're going to have to steal that game on the road. They're, they're certainly not going to give it to us. We're going to have to have a great defensive effort. Um, and... You know, if we do that, then our chances of winning that ball game goes up. But that's that's going to be a tall task, Dave, and uh, certainly one that we're looking forward to doing and, and completing. Uh, final question for you: Just how how you're feeling going in? You had two games into your uh, well, with the exhibition game against yeah. Milwaukee, but two games into it here, just how you feel the team is coming around, uh, just uh, rallying, really going. Well, I I like how the guys are really appreciating one another and. You know, my challenge to them, it's very, very easy for 1 through 10, 1 through 9 to be engaged in a game when they're getting minutes. Um, 
the, what makes a team special is uh, 10 through 18. And right now I'm, I'm really pleased with that because those guys have to beat the top team when I split them up in practice or when we do drills or if we do two even teams. Though, um, guys that aren't getting consistent minutes, they have to compete. And if that top team, those top eight guys are not performing, they need to lose. They need to lose drills. And um, I'm, uh, that's probably the thing that I'm most excited about. Not that that top team is losing drills in practice, but they are playing hard. And that second group, um, um, when we match them up, certainly has taken it to them. And they've taught lessons um, to that first group, to that red team that we have. And um, if we continue to do that, we continue to do that, have really competitive practices, you know, then we have a chance to get better each and every day. And, and uh, that's, that's what we look forward to doing, Dave. Congratulations, Coach, and good luck Thanks. on Monday night.